Hey VC, it's Steve Whitty here, um, two days on the trot, um, yes, getting slowly back into this uh, recording video malarkey. Um, as sort of promised in the last video, this is CD Hall Part 2. I've got a fair few CDs here, um, so I'm just going to really just crack on and show you. A lot of these were purchased charity, but uh, shop fine, some of them were given to, some were given to me. So... Really, without further ado, I'm going to crack on here and show you what I've got. Um, first up, got a couple of Nickelback CDs. So this is Curb. I'm looking at this. This dates back from 1988, so it's sort of like their debut album. Um, and then I've got here the State, which came out again 1999. So these are the first two albums. Um, before they became famous with um, when the song How You Remind Me became a sort of mega successful hit. So, quite useful to have. I know Nickelback gets a lot of bad rap, but you know, for what it is, it, 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 they're good at what they do. Um, I think it's very easy to knock a band um, or an artist, and I can think of like Adele or Ed Sheeran. Two artists that I don't particularly care for, and I think I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but they do what they do, and they're good at what they do, and they get an audience that appreciates it. And like, you can't knock an artist for that. Ultimately, you know, in the end, I suppose if you can get lots of the sales, it's, it's your living. Ultimately, you know, you can be the tortured artist as much as you like. Oasis. This is beat, stop the clocks. This is a, a greatest two CD set. Um, it came, pretty much came out at the time they imploded, well basically the Gallagher's fell out with each other. It's sort of interesting now that Liam's just released his latest album. I, mean, I haven't listened to it yet. I haven't listened to anything of it yet. Um, where Noel, he's, he tried with BDI and it hasn't worked. And in a sense, Liam has a, as a solo artist, it's very much his last throw of the dice. Noel has got, got his solo career established. Um, and I think for Liam, this may be his last chance. The problem is, because he was the front, front man for Oasis, there, I think there is people expecting him to sing a load of Oasis songs. Yeah, they weren't written by him. Uh, all the decent tunes weren't written by him. So it's a bit of a toughie, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Wish him all the best. OK Go, and this is the album from, I think this must be the debut from 2002. Um, yeah, not too bad. Yeah, a bit of it sorts. And then probably their best known album, Oh No, OK Go, Oh No. Let's excuse the glare here. Now this album came out in 2005, I think. 2004-2005, but it contains Here We Go Again, Here It Goes Again, sorry, which obviously is best known for the video with the um, treadmills. Um, again, it's good for what it is, you know, you know good pop, post, pop punk, you know, whatever you want to call it, new wave-ish, yeah, it's pretty good, I, I enjoyed it. One, when I first started showing CDs, one album I got, I finally got hold of, was Rage Against the Machines' um, debut album. I've now managed to get hold of Evil Empire. This is a charity shop find, cost me all 50 pence. Um, they're good, you know, I like Rage Against the Machine. Um, people of the Sun, Balls on Fire, Vietnam, Revolver, Snake Charming. If you know the album, you know the track, you don't need me to tell you what they are. Um, really good album and then I haven't got the third album but I did get hold, get hold of a copy of Renegades which is, was sort of like a tribute album again it only cost me 50 pence um, which, which was then doing cover ver a cover version album um, kick out the jams the single I think off this was Renegades of Funk which I particularly enjoyed it was a Ghost of Tom Joad uh, Street Fighting Man Maggie's Farm et al. it's a good a good covers album. Band then split up Zach the Rush left the band and then as we know the rest of them 
called Audio Slave with Chris Cornell. Um, do you, um, I haven't listened to the Prophets of Rage album yet, so I'm going to download that for my holidays and make that some central listening while, I, while I'm lying on the beach or whatever. And inside that Renegades album CD was another CD, and I've had to find a home for it. And this is Rage Against the Machine, and this is the live album. Live at the, the Grand, o Grand Olympic Auditorium. And as live albums go, it's not a bad album at all. So I'm pretty pleased to find that. I've had to have it in a magazine cover, which was something to do with the, with the band. But uh, there you go. It's got a home. It doesn't skip. It doesn't jump. It's, it's, it's a good, stonking record, CD. Next up, I found this. I knew the name. I hadn't really heard of him. Josh Ritter. Um, this is um, Golden Age of Radio. This album um, came out in... 2002. It's very much a folky, uh, introspective album. Um, if you like Elliot Smith, I think you might you, you'd like enjoyed this. Uh, good album. I yeah, makes me keen to want to search out some more Josh Ritter. An album that's been out. It's a popular album at this time, but I, I had a download, but never actually owned a copy. This is Mark Ronson's version. Um, Best known tracks, Valerie, that Amy Winehouse did. Um, Lily A did Oh My God. God Put a Smile Upon Your Face, which features the back tone horns. Um, yeah, it's a good, good time album. It's, Mark Ronson's good at what he does with, 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 with the production and just turns those tunes around. I posted this on Facebook that, or through its Instagram that this is the first album I got from this band, by this band, Sleater Kinney. This is Into the Woods. This is, it, sorry, it, yeah, it's The Woods, sorry, I put Into the Woods. It's The Woods, sub pop, put out on a sub pop label. I don't know, if it, looking at it, when I put, put, put it on Discogs, it was a UK issue, this is an American is, issue. I, it didn't come up with any UK issue, so, you know, pleased to get hold of that. Again, you know, it cost me pennies. Um, Definitely want me to makes me want to search out some more Sleater Kinney. Uh, if anybody's got a spare seat at Sleater Kinney CD that they don't want, I'm more than happy to take it off you. Essential late night listening. This was Soulfly. This is you know, there's a lot of glare on this. This is their debut album, special, and it's a special limited edition. It's the black embossed cover. Um, some of the teeth are broken in the CD. Um, so you got the album, but then you have got some bonus tracks which you can't. Um, how, how you say this? Can, can yeah, I'll show it you. There you go. And then they do a couple of discharge songs, "Ain't No Feeble Bastard" and "The Possibility of Life's Dis Destruction." Um, Soulfly. If you, you, you metal fans will know this, uh, it came from the ashes of Sepultura, basically. And, and uh, Max. Uh, Cal Calavera had left Sepultura and set up his own band. This was quite initially quite successful at the time it came out. I did have a download somewhere of, of another album of theirs. I'm not averse to listening to a bit of um, that's it, Max Cal Cavalera, that's it, how you pronounce it. Um, I'm not averse to listening to a bit of um, thrash, hard, really hard rock. Um, now and again, I used to listen to metal a lot in the teens and whatever. You, know, you just, as you get older, you, your musical tastes expand a little bit, so you open to more things, and some things get pushed back. And I think the me my metal listening has dropped back a little bit. Um, particularly, I think I mentioned in one of Andy's vinyl dens and contests that the band that I had stopped listening to would be Iron Maiden. That's since been rectified. I've been listening to a little bit more of them now, just because I mean, in fact, I've mentioned it. So that's that. Though. So some more CDs I've got here: The Temptations, classic soul hits. I don't think you need to say any more than that. Very pleased to find this. This is Atlantic R&B, uh, 1965, 67, Volume Six. What you've got on here, um, you might, you, you've got sort of like a peak here of stat of of, of um, Atlantic. 
um, Soul Man, Sam and Dave, um, Tramp by Otis and Carla, um, Sweet Soul Music, Arthur Conley, Mustang Sally, Wilkin, Wilson Pickett, uh, When a Man Loves a Woman, Percy Sledge, oh, Hold On, I'm Coming, Sam and Dave, all right, you know, Respect, Otis Redding, you know, Midnight Hour, Wilson Pickett, you get the idea, you know, I love Stax, you know, Soul, and um, one of the prom concerts they had in the summer um, featured uh, featured the uh, sort of tribute to Stax, the 50th anniversary tribute to Stax, and it was just absolutely amazing. They broadcast it live from the Albert Hall on, on BBC Four, just absolutely brilliant. I, I am a sucker for that. I'd have to say, if I was to form my ideal band, I could have all the great guitarists and all the metal guitarists and all the, the wooden dillies, but when it comes to vocals, you have to be Otis Redding on vocals all the time. Another compilation, If I Were a Carpenter, this came out in 1994 and it's basically a cover tribute album to the Carpenters um, with a load of, of, of covers, various artists, I mean probably the best known is Sonic um, Youth uh, Superstar, we've got Shown in Life, Top of the World, um, Cheryl Crow does Solitaire, Red Cost does Yesterday Once More, Cracky does Rainy Days and Mondays. Um, Grant, Grant Lee Buffalo, do we've only just begun, so you get an idea of, 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 of what it, it is. This I picked up primarily for some of the tracks. This is just a 60s compilation, Millennium's uh, 40 hits, 1965 69, 2 CD set. The reason I picked it up, it's what I've got on it here. You know, some of the stuff I haven't got, so I've got um, Mamas and Papas Monday, Monday, uh, T set My Bell and Me. Deep Purple's Hush, um, Manfred Man's Pretty Flamingo, Crispin St. Peter's Pied Piper, New Vaudible Band, Winchester Cath uh, Cathedral, uh, Chris Andrews, Yesterday Man, The Scaffold, Lily the Pink, that featured Paul McCartney's brother, Mike McGear. Um, got the Buxton, Jane Americans, uh, Cara Mia. Um, yeah, you get the idea, it's, a, it's just your typical 60s, but the, there's some tracks I haven't got, so, you know, and just nice to have them in my collection. Um, this is M Enemy relaunch, and I think this was just a CD to the various relaunch on the Enemy. So this was given to me. Um, got some David Harms, Warm Jets, Montrose Avenue. James is on here with a track called Some Charming. One to another, The Charlatans. That's probably the best known track on here. So yeah, not too bad. An artist that. I really am keen to get more into it, get some more stuff. It's Björk. Um, I'm trying to think what the name of this album is called. It's called Medulla. I've never heard anything on it. So this is a bit of a, a punt um, on, on this. Uh, so I'm going to give that. I'll come back to you on that one when I've heard it. Bowling for Soup. Let's do it for Johnny. This album came out with, um, from the Music for Nations label. Um, it came out in the two thousands. It's before they broke through. Um, with all, all the guys, all, all the bad, the, the guys, the bad, the bad girls, or something like that. Classic album. And this is one to fill the collection gap in the collection. Uh, Della Soul, three three to high and rising. Yeah, you need not say more than that. Um, another. This is a, a blind buy. This is really is a punt in the dark. I'm aware of Apex Twin, and this is a, supposed to be a classic album in this genre. Selected Ambient Works 85 to 92. Um, I'm yeah, I'm I'm really I'm going on blind on this. I'm not. I am aware of the name, but I'm not aware of the guy. I, I have to be said. So here goes. You know, if I like it, I do. If I don't, I can always give it back to a charity shop. Erica Badu, Badudism, I think this is her breakthrough album, um, 1997, yeah, it's 20 years old, it doesn't feel like 20 years ago, I, I was aware of her, um, but you know, we need to give that a punt, this is an album, where St. Niles Bartley sent elsewhere, I and mean, it's obviously crazy as the standout track, um, so yeah, give that, give that a listen. And then we've got 
Green Day's International Super Hits, uh, Best Of Al album. Uh, it might be 2000, 2003, because this predates American Idiots. Uh, suddenly, they, it, which really kick-started their career again. I mean, maybe at this point, Green Day was sort of like going through the motions. They'd had, obviously, Ducky, which was their big breakthrough album. And then they had a couple of decent albums, but a few decent albums, but it never quite matched up to Ducky. And then American Idiot came out, maybe because they they had uh, they were going through issues at the time. And I think they just got their heads together when American Idiot came out. So this is a good um, compilation to have for the for the for the early, early Green Day stuff. So I'm pleased to have that. This again is a blind buy, but I know the name. Donny Hathaway, and it's Donny Hathaway Live. It's uh, coming out 1972. So he's got What's Going On, The Ghetto. I haven't listened to this yet. He's got there's a version of Jealous Guy. Um, you've got a friend. So it's very interesting to hear about that. Obviously, he's a, he met, met the sad end. He's apparently jumped out of a, of a hotel room. Um, he's best known. He, he recorded with... Uh, uh, Roberta Flack and uh, Back Together Again, I think, was the big hit that they had after he died. So, Guys, the Cheeps, uh, Yours Truly Angry Mob. This came, this was the follow up to their debut album, uh, Employments. Features the number one single, Ruby. Um, yeah, it's got a couple of good does the songs, The Angry Mob. But I think at this point, the career started to go down a little bit. Um, and I, th I mean, they're still going, they still sell out shows, but it's not, it's not quite the same after this album. Album that's reissued on CDs this is uh, Linton Quasi Johnson's um, Bass Cultures. Um, it originally came out in 1980. So I'm always pretty keen to um, add to my reggae stock. CD single. This is Junior Senior, Move Your Feet. This was a quite a big hit in the UK. So it was like a bit of a soundtrack for, for, the, for the summer of about 2004, I think. 2003, 2004. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, pleased to have that. It, it's just a good, fun track. An album which I thought I had, I hadn't got. This is Blue Line's Massive Attack. It's 1991. It's a classic of its genre. Um, what can I say? And I'm pleased to have this back in my collection. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just stood the test of time, this, this album. So, pleased to have that back. A few months ago, I showed Kylie Minogue's debut album. And I was probably randomly mocked for having it. I don't care. So, I've got some more Kylie. This is Hits Plus. Now, this is the greatest hits from 2004 to 2008. So, this is when... Um, was it 2004-2008? Basically, it covers her indie period. She went all indie on us, uh, Kylie, bless her. Now, it's obviously 1994 to... Uh, 1994, sorry. She went all indie on us. She'd had enough of being... She'd had enough of the pop of Pete Waterman and all et al. Clock Ape and Waterman. She wanted to go her own way. So you've got here Confined in Me, which is a great song. Put Yourself in My Place. You've also got the Where the Wild Roses Grow, which she recorded with Nick Cave. It's just... I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what else is on this album. Off she went back to her pop roots with Can't Control Myself. Can't get you out of my head. But, um, you know, it's I think it's just an interesting... Just interesting record of that time. Someone that'll take people of a certain age back. This is Vic Rees and this is this is I Will Cure You. Vic Rees is an English comedian. He came out, this is 1991, features the number one single Dizzy which he recorded with the Wonder Stuff. Um, this was on the back of a program he had at the time on Channel 4 Big Night Out with Bob Mortimer. It was his breakthrough program. It's very quite surreal um, he's very. It's a very. He's a very surreal comedian. Yeah, some of some of it just goes out of your head a little bit. Some of it just absolutely side splitting is funny. Um, but he was a serious songwriter. He's, he sort of modelled himself like an old, like an old um, 
northern like s singer, uh, club singer. You know, just you come on, do a few turns, do a few jokes, sing a few songs, type thing. Um, we've got on here Black Knight. Uh, I remember punk rock, Born Free. Uh, summer seventy five. Oh, Mr. Hairdresser and the Bible with me. But you get a rough idea what this is, what this is about. Another CD, which in the UK needs no collection. It's classic. It's Soul to Soul, so, and it's Club Classics Volume One. I don't know if it's got to number one as an album, but it did feature the number one single, Back to Life, um, late nineteen eighty nine. It's again of its time. It's a good time record. And finally, in the CDs, it Talking Heads stop making uh, stop talking stop making sense. Sorry, um, this new special edition. So this was ex an extended version of the original album, but it's a, a, like, essentially a live album. It came with with the film. There was a film made as well, which I've never seen, but the album's good. I've only recently listened to it on download, but then to see I could get hold of a copy. I'm more than happy to do that. So, my friends, that's all my CDs I purchased in September. Um, hope you liked what you've seen. Um, I did buy some vinyl, and I will do a video next week with showing my September's vinyl. We'll be get what bit of that as well. So, don't worry, VC. It, it, you know, it's not CDC, um, but you know, I think everybody else shows um, CDs, and CDs and charity shops are dirt cheap. Um, it, it's be, it, you know, I'm not gonna deny it. it's it's a good way of patching holes in in collection as you've seen here. Some of these um, you know, expect people have got which I hadn't got, so I was more than happy to do that. Anyway, it's enough of me prattling on. If you liked what you've seen, give it a thumbs up. Don't care if you want to give it a thumbs down, give it a thumbs down. It's, you know, I'm not going to get I'm not going to get offended by it. I'm not going to make a video this saying now oh, people don't like me. Well, it's you know, it's, it's it's opinions, and that's what makes the world go round. Not, give, leave a comment. I'm more than happy to get back to get back to you. If you're new to the channel and you've seen me for the first time, don't let me don't let this face scare you off. Um, and you want to see more videos? Just subscribe to the channel. I've been doing, making videos now for over a year now, um, and so enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, take care. Be good to each other. You know, in these times, these desperate times we've been living in, I think, you know, just reckon, remember that we um, just all need to get on with each other. Um, keep smiling, keep listening to that music, take care of yourselves, bye.